Loz, can you tell us the story about when you first knew about manifesting a law of assumption? When did you start the journey? Well, guys, I started the journey like many of you when I'd fucked up my life fucked up my life royally and then I had to discover how the hell I did that and that's why when I teach you guys I teach you that you're causing everything hi guys I'm Loz if you never met me before I'm subconscious Loz I teach you that you are creating your reality with your dominant thinking so you have to change your thinking to change your reality it's not stars aligning it's not the universe it's not your specific person it's you 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 you're doing it you were doing it all the time you just didn't realize it now when I realized it when I realized I was actually creating my reality with my shitty thinking I realized I had to change my you thinking I went through a shit ton of therapy I read every goddamn Neville Goddard book every single lecture I listened to a million times I listened to all the videos from all the old oldies like Joseph Murphy and oh god uh, uh, Napoleon Hill I'm trying to think of all of them I could see all their old faces but I'm trying to think of the names I listened to every possible tape every lecture that I could possibly listen to sometimes I would sit there eight hours straight listening to Neville right and I just saturated my mind with this new thinking about, oh my God, I'm the cause of my reality. That means I can change it. Now, the, re the reason why I was doing that was because my reality was so shitty that I needed to change it. I was in a desperate state, a desperate needy state of needing to change. I was so depressed. I was in jobs I hated. I, my life hadn't turned out the way I wanted. My relationship situation wasn't the way I wanted. And like a lot of you, I was down in the dumps and that's when I searched for answers. Now, sometimes you find the answers when you're really desperate, when you really need the answer. And that's how I uncovered it. And many, 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 many years of learning all this shit and learning by experience, even though I listened, even though I read and even though I learnt, I didn't know, really know what this was until I started fucking it up and asking myself, hang on, I thought I understood this. How come it's still fucking up? How come I'm manifesting my person back and then losing them? How come I'm creating the career and then losing it? What's happening here? Ah, I'm doing that. So when I uncovered that, that's when I realized, oh, I've got something to say about this. I might start a TikTok. Now, the reason why I started my TikTok was I had this huge aha moment about fucking it up. Now, I probably discovered Neville Goddard in 2016, I think it was. It was before I started a comedy channel. It was a YouTube comedy channel. And I had discovered him because I'd read every Law of Attraction fucking thing for years. And Law of Attraction just lost me. I was completely lost on it because I couldn't be happy all the time because I had clinical depression and severe anxiety. So how could I possibly be happy all the time when I was depressed all the goddamn time? Okay, so Law of Attraction for me never fucking worked because I couldn't feel joy. I couldn't be over happy all the time. It was just fucking impossible. So I thought there must be an easier way. Surely there's an easier way. And then I went through a whole lot of therapy as well. Still didn't help. Then I discovered Neville. When I started reading Neville, I realized it was just my thinking I had to change, not my feelings. And when I realized that, I was like, oh my God. So I don't have to be joyous all the time. I can still do this and create new circumstances. And what I didn't realize when I was thinking that was, oh, hang on, I'm creating them already. I'm already creating the circumstances. I thought it was something to start doing. I thought manifesting was something to start doing, like the law of attraction community teaches you. No, it's not. You're already doing it. And if you really listen to Neville, you'll realize that your dominant subconscious thinking is already creating your reality. It's already reflecting out telepathically to others and they're reflecting it back. And that's how you create your reality in the first place. So if you don't change that, your reality won't change. So you, yourself, your self-concept, your concept of yourself, your ideas of yourself have to change for your reality to change because your reality is a reflection your concept of yourself when I realized that I realized oh my god I realized what he means when he says I am the only cause you are the only cause when you really 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 understand that you can't blame anybody else you can't turn to the left or turn to the right as Neville said and tell somebody else off for the way they showed up you've got to realize they're reflecting you so the way they showed up was a reflection of what you think about you them and the situation when that penny finally dropped for me, that's when I started the TikTok because I thought, you know what? So many people are teaching this wrong. You know what? There's even law of assumption people out there who don't even understand what concept even means. They're teaching self-concept like self-love. They're doing self-love courses for manifesting. What the fuck is loving yourself got to do with manifesting a new concept of yourself? Absolutely goddamn nothing. I still see them. I still see manifestation coaches having self-love courses. What the fuck? Well, you're teaching manifesting. You're teaching changing your dominant thinking about yourself, not loving yourself. Loving yourself ain't got nothing to do with manifesting a new reality. When you really get this, guys, when you really fucking get it, 10 minute videos, I need a drink of water, then everything will change. Because that's what happened for me. Now, I have succinctly put this together in a very easy to understand guide called Everything You've Learned About Manifesting is Wrong, because it is, guys, and it's free, and it's on my link. You can get it now, okay? And then you'll understand this like I do.